hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be talking about dart manipulation basically this is moving your dart from one point to other points on your bodice so i'm using this bodice pattern with shoulder dart that i cut using the natalie gray method if you're here to see this and if you would like to see this you can go ahead and watch it i have a video showing how to do this a detailed video showing how to do this on my channel but in this video we're going to be talking dart manipulation so to start i'll go ahead and transfer this onto fresh pattern paper because i don't want to mess up my block so i'll just do this now transfer onto fresh pattern paper so i've transferred my pattern onto fresh pattern paper you can go ahead and transfer your front waist your center front that into your front waist that if you're not going to be using the center front seam but this is not the tutorial to talk about that so now you need to decide where you want to move your dart to so there are some positions where you can move your dart to basically you can move your dart anywhere but i'm just gonna talk about some positions so we're going to be moving this shoulder dart around but note that this method that this principles applies to both the shoulder that and the and the waist that you can really move your dart anywhere you want it to be so i'm going to be using my black pen to just draw different positions so you can move your shoulder that into your neckline you can move it into your underarm so into your armhole curve you can move it into your underarm so i'll just draw a straight line from here you can move it into your side seam and you can move it into your center front like i said the, possi the possibilities are endless you can try to move it this way so basically just use your imagination so now there's just one basic principle when moving darts around you need to close your existing dart then open up a slash mark to not true to the point where you close the existing dot i need to open it up to this point so that the dot so that the pattern can lay flat because this is a flat pattern so it needs to always lay flat so now i want to move this shoulder that into the side into the side seam here i'll go ahead and i'll just cut this here because it makes it easier to close up to this point and I'll cover this, just move it like this. So I'll cover this and just pin it down. You can use a tape, but tips can be very annoying when it's time to remove. So I'll pin it down and then I'll slash it from this line. I hope you guys can see from this the line i'm interested in creating the new that so i'll slash this now lay this flat nicely and this is my new dart and this is the new width of my dart so if i want to use this for a dress all i need to do is go ahead place it on a fresh pattern paper and i will get my new dart and my new dart width so this is it like it's very easy if you wanted to move it to the front all you needed to do is just open this line so i can go ahead close this open another line let me just show you guys so i'm just going to close this and i'll open a new line here and this is my new dart and you need not worry about the about the size of your dart your dart once you slash it out from a new position and you close the old position this is the right amount for this particular dart in the position that it is so yes so this is the method just put it anywhere you want draw the line close the previous dart and slash the new dart and guys like this is so amazing because you can use this to create so many amazing style lines and so many amazing designs so i hope you guys find this helpful please leave a comment down below on more tutorials you would like to see on this channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up 